everybody out there in YouTube land. This is your girl, a.k.a. Simply Love. Sandra, a.k.a. Simply Love. I got you back here in my bedroom, okay? In my little hut. I got this little thing that I wrap around me at night and makes me feel like I'm some kind of queen on a throne or something like that. I just wrap it all around me, around my bed, and I feel like, you know, and I listen to my prince every night, meditate off of his music, <clears throat> and it, and I just... And this is my little magical room. This is where all the magic happens for me. This is where I receive all my download from my angel guides, the most high God, to deliver to you guys. I, I'm back here because I just very, me very well may fall asleep on y'all, okay? So if I do, sleep with me. You know what I'm saying? Just fall asleep until I wake up, okay? <laughs> No, hopefully I won't fall asleep on you guys, but, you know, I had to get a, in a different area. I'm just all over the place. This energy that I got, I believe it's from this full moon that's coming up for us. Um, uh, I forget what day. I think it's going to happen around the 20th. We're going to have a full moon coming up. Uh, and um, I think that's where I'm getting all this energy. I can't even barely go to sleep because I'm getting so much information and so energetic. I love the way I'm feeling. I, you know, I really do. I feel like I've reached a milestone in my life. It's just like, it's like I feel like I, it's just completed. It's like a, a full circle completed. That's what I feel like right now inside of me. And I just feel like I can just take on the world. And I want to bring you guys on board with me. Come on board on a love train. Yes, it may come have some tough love. Believe me, that's not me. I'm just being used by the angel gods. And sometimes it has to come up cross a little tough but it's such thing as tough love i not the type that can go around holding people hands and you know treating you like a little baby and all this kind of stuff no we're all grown adults and sometimes tough love snaps people into reality because we're we've been living in this fantasy world for so long now it's time to you know wake up and the guys can use me that way. You know, I'm not trying to be mean. Believe me, I love each and every one of you. That's why I call myself sim Simply Love. It's all out of love. Sometimes it has to be tough for it for, for some people to turn around. If you can't handle it at this time, oh, well, then you just have to keep on being baby, you know, and maybe, you know, just keep hearing fantasies and things like that. Keep yourself in a fantasy world and see how far that gets you. That's going to be up to you, okay? But I'm here to help. So don't take nothing the wrong way. Um, it's not negative. We're, we're here to help you. We are taking our time out to help you. We don't have to do this, but we choose to because why? We love you, and we care about you, and we want the best for you. And that's just the God's honest truth. So, with that said, I'm going to do all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies for uh, my beautiful queens. I pulled out all the king and queens of the, of the, on uh, each side, um, Earth, wind, fire, and water. Okay, I pulled all of them out. Now I'm going to do the queen, of, uh, the queen of cups, which is going to be the Pisces ladies. Okay, this is for all the Pisces ladies. You're sitting up here on the throne. Okay, and I'm getting ready to, you know, read you right now, my my lady Pisces, six single ladies, the single lady Pisces, Pisces. Yeah, it's going to be for Pisces, single ladies. So you're sitting on your beautiful throne, and you're covered with beautiful, with my beautiful rocks. You know, the catch, capture the energy for you all around you. I got my beautiful stones. I got my seashells. I got a black seashell up here for some reason. And I'm feeling that there's some, some blockage around you guys right now. We're going to find out what that is, what that blockage is, okay? There's definitely some blockages going on around some of you. This reading is general, so it's only going to pertain to some, not all, okay? If it doesn't relate to you, you might want to check out your your moon and um, rising sign and also your Venus sign as well, okay? That may give some more, uh, and you're welcome to those on my other, other videos that I have. So, all you ladies, you single ladies out here, you Pisces, this is for you. Let me just, give me some time to shuffle. Again, welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> this is where I'm at in my bedroom. And uh, that's where I was told to go. Go to your bedroom, Sandy. 
Like, why? Can I be right here? No, this is a little bit too cop. You know, in the back, I want you to be in a different area. So I got to listen to what they tell me to do. Why? I don't know. Maybe they going to... Maybe I'm going to fall asleep on you guys. You're going to have to hold up. Wait a minute till I wake up. If I fall asleep, y'all go to sleep too. And just wait for me to wake up. I'm going to finish it. Believe me, I'm going to finish you guys. <laughs> I love y'all so doggone much. I tell you, even with the tough love, don't take it wrong. Please don't take it wrong. Don't take it the wrong way. It's it's time for us to grow up and stop being babies and being babyfied. It's time for us to be movers, movers and shakers. Stop sitting around. Stop pondering over things. Stop thinking there's just one person in the world for you when there's a whole big old world out here waiting for waiting just for you. Because it's not going to stop. The world's not going to stop running because of you and and in your waddling and your sorrows we want to wake this we want to wake up we want you to leave your options open you know if the, you already got love and love is good for you things are going good for you well fine that's good roll with that you know and keep it that way but if we having some problems here which i'm feeling for some of you pisces women i'm feeling some blockage because of this black um seashell that's sitting on your uh card here Okay, so we're going to see what's up. Maybe it's just it's just for some. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. All right. To me, that is it. That's the last card shuffle. Now I'm going to start pulling cards here. Here you go. All hmm. This is my shaman deck. I co I'm connecting with all these decks, new decks that I'm getting out here, connecting with them very, very well. Easy for me to read. And plus, like I said, I don't read the books, you guys, because if I read the books for these cards, all you'll do is keep hearing the same story over and over again. And if you're a reader, you're truly connected with the Most High God and the Angel Guides. You rely on them to give you the messages. Whatever you're hearing from them, whatever they're saying, that's what you're mainly supposed to be uh, uh, using. Um, because there's so many people out here that we're reading for, okay? So to first start off with uh, the P single Pisces women, I have the Six of Swords. That means, you know, there's some... This came out in another reading as well. There's... um. A sense of some of you moving on. Sorry about my nails, y'all. I ain't had time to get them done, so please forgive me. I ain't trying to be raggedy or nothing. It's just I ain't had time because I'm trying to put in my time and devotion to you guys and, and give you more focus, be more focused, be more. I'm trying to get more closer to you guys, more personable to let you know I really, really do care. So I will be, you know, sometimes if y'all put, um, not saying I'm going to get to each and every one of y'all, but if you put some questions out there, I'll randomly pick some and I'm going to post them, you know, up on a, a, as a video. I find that to be easier than doing all this typing and stuff. I'm going to post it as a little short video and then I'm going to put it up as you've been seeing here lately, okay? I find that to be very, very easy and simple with that tool that I've been using. Okay, like I said, some of y'all are moving away from uh, choppy waters uh, to, and you're moving on to better, something better, somewhere that's going to be smoother, a smoother ride for you in this life for some of you Pisces uh, women out there who are single. You may have just gotten out of a relationship that has been very, very stormy and rocky. And it's been, you know, it's just been one thing after another, after another. So some of y'all decide to go on your own alone and move forward into try to find something that's going to be smoother waters, okay? And with these six swords that's inside of this boat with you, for some of you, you're just moving on to bigger and better things. You know, you know you're trying to find better in your life. You're tired of going at, uh, 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 like a seesaw on this. Uh, this is what I'm hearing from God now, intuitively. You're tired of going on this seesaw ride with somebody, an individual in your life. This individual could be a, uh, a, uh, air sign, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra for a lot of you Pisces out there. You could have had a long-term relationship with um, them and you're moving forward from them. Uh, you're taking these experiences that you've had with this person and you're, you know, you're, 
they're they're going but they're it's just for you to keep as a memory not to get into this again because you're not really happy about moving forward but you're doing it because you know you need to you're tired of the up and downs do you're tired of all the drama i'm seeing drama for some of you with this person and you're sick and tired of it so you're going to go in and you're going in along and the next time the next card you got is temperance okay and the temperance is a good card to have you you ladies uh pisces out there in your reading being that you're uh you know ending a relationship here moving forward you know looking for a better situation and and you're going to actually next time you're going to test the waters you're not going to be jumping in in no relationship you're going to be t you'll test it because you notice that she's got her foot here in the water. It, it, that's that ain't she ain't indulged in all her emotions. You know, you guys can tend to be very emotional, but you're trying to get that in under control. You're working on getting that under control with the temperance here. So you got your foot dabbled in the water just a little bit, but not all the way. Because you want to test the waters. There's a rainbow above this, and she looks like an angel. So the rainbow is of promises. You know what the rainbow, rainbow means promises, promises of uh, not doing, repeating the same thing uh, that happened, that something that may have happened in your life that does, didn't suit you. So you're, you're it's making promises to make sure you figure this thing out before you delve into it. It's also meaning for some of you are going to go through some type of, you know, healing process, healing yourself, you know, discovering yourself, um, uh, you know, weighing out the pros and cons of things. Maybe some of y'all may not be leaving a relationship. Maybe you're just getting away from it for a while and or and, and weighing out the pros and cons and see if this is going to be worth your time or not. If you want to really make this a permanent relationship with somebody that you may have in mind or somebody you've been dealing with for a while or somebody for some of you that just, you know, you're going away from for a little while. Some of y'all just exiting and trying to find something brand new with the... um temperance here and it's also tempering your emotions because a lot of you pisces women are very emotional you you dive yourself in your emotions you basically that's part of your makeup that's part of who you are but you're tempering that because sometimes it, it could even work to your favor you're trying to make it work to your favor here with the temperance being here because you know without you tempering that emotional state you can uh, you can just like dive yourself into your emotions and it's not a good thing you ha you have a mind body and spirit that you have to have together as one you can't just use one entity uh and think that's going to work for you that can get you in trouble so the reason why I say you're changing here because you have the devil card but it's upside down and that's a good thing so that means you're not going to let the devil get to you like it normally does. I feel like for some of y'all, this has been going on and on and on and on. And it's time for it to come to an end. And you're not going to let the devil tempt you this time. You're really going to pull this thing together. And you, a lot of you are just moving on from, like I said, a relationship with someone who may be of an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Um, or this person could be a Capricorn as well. This could be, you know, because the, the devil is uh, depicted to be the devil, um, uh, the Capricorn depicted to be the devil in the uh, tarot deck. Uh, no more bondage, no more, you know, being bonded or tied to someone that no longer serves you, okay? You're breaking the bow that bound you, okay? That's what I'm hearing. You're breaking, you're breaking those chains. You're breaking free from whatever addictions that you may have, some kind of addiction, some kind of codependency, or somebody has some codependency on you. You're breaking anything that is negative and no longer serves you in your life, uh, Pisces ladies. And the two of wands here, like, is supposed to be upright here, okay? And that's somebody who's looking out into the future, okay? And they're wondering what they're going to take with them into the future. Some of y'all is going to be nothing right now. You, you just might go, like I said, go in alone. And, you know, looking out into the future, like, or you may be thinking about how you're going to handle your future here. It is upside down, so... It could be um, some of y'all might have been dealing with a fire sign as well. A Pisces, I'm sorry, um, Aries, 
an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo, okay? They could be upside down because of your um, resistance to them. You're not falling for their games or the old hokey doke anymore. You're kind of like pretty well getting away from this situation. And as you're getting away, there's somebody else coming in, which is the Knight of Cups. Now, this is a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This could be you um, offering your cup of love to somebody, or somebody may be coming into you of the same sign as you, or it could be a uh, Cancer or um, Scorpio, I mean, Cancer or Pisces, okay? Uh, coming in, offering a cup of love, okay? Um for a lot of you if it's not them uh if it's not that sign it could be their in their natal chart somewhere okay they could have uh they could ha they could be acting like the knight of cups who offers their cup of love okay and then for some of you i'm getting okay this person that coming in you got the three of wands, okay? This fire sign again, or this fire. And if you notice, these two almost are similar, and they're both upside down. And they're both of a fire sign. Look at that. Let me see. No, this one wasn't upside down. This one was right side up. Okay. I think this was right side up. Okay, this one was upside down. Now that this new... Okay, now that this this is a fire sign or some type of fire energy about, you know, where they're, they're not sure about their future, you know, or not willing to bring somebody along with them in their future. With this one coming along here, the Knight of Cups, offering their cups of love, you may take up on this offer because this one's upright. This is about, this is looking out into the future too. This one you may want to take a ride with here. They're saying this is a possibility because this is the Three of Wands upright, still looking out into your future, you know, still uh, having possibilities of this new person that's coming along offering their cup of love to you you may take this possibility on when it's when this one up top here you're looking out to the future say if it was upright you know you might be possibly considering this person that you're trying to leave behind but being it's upside down is a lot of you aren't going to do that you're going to wait for something else to come along which it has with the knight of cups and you're considering taking them uh, on for the long haul for a lot of you ones that are uh, uh, single and possibly left a, a, a person behind. And with the Ace of Wands is saying, yes, you know, uh, there's definitely going to be, you're going to move forward with passion with this relationship. It's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of um, drive, whoever this is. And it's like uh, something that from the heavens, something from the like given to you like to have like it's almost like saying you got your mojo back okay it's like you're going to really enjoy this person whoever's who this can't, this knight of cups is going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness true love real love something that you've been waiting for promises with the temperance you know with that temperance got that rainbow you know you 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 figure things out from this bad relationship that you were in that you finally come to an end with and decide to leave it in the past um for sure enough you're going to you know really love like this person you're really going to take this thing on this this new thing you're going to take on okay then you got the three of pentacles okay where you have to make a decision so somebody Maybe this person from your past that you're trying to get away from might try to come back in. Okay, so there's three people here. So, and it's the Three of Pentacles. It could be, um, it, uh, it could be somebody that's willing to offer you this Knight of Cups here could be the, uh, uh, the, the Three of Pentacles as well. It could be an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. All right, and they could be offering you a future, you know, with money, finances, 
passion and love all this all wrapped up into one and you have to make a decision if this is what you want so some of y'all are in decision making time now you see a future with this person definitely with the three of wands looking out in the future you see a stable person here you see somebody stable somebody you can work with uh, even give and take here you can take them into your future that you see from afar and with the Ace of Wands saying, you know, it's going to be very passionate, it's a passionate relationship, very passionate person, um, very driven, very, you know, they're coming after you. They definitely want you in their surroundings. They want you in their future, too, because if you look afar there, there's a house right there. So they got something, you know. They do want you in their future. And it is like a gift from God because it's coming out from the clouds. It's coming from the heavens. They're offering this this to you saying, here, here you go. This is what you've been waiting for. This is what you hope for. Here you go. Take it and run with it. And then make your decision, you know, about, you know, making this a permanent, you know, a permanent relate, a, a permanent fixture in your life. You're going to make the right choice, okay, with the three of pentacles here. You worked hard for this, so, you know, you, my lady Pisces out there, do the damn thing is all I can tell you. Go for it. it go for it. You're going to be, you're going to feel this and you're going to know this, okay? So let's, my arm is getting doggone, um, you know how you be in a position so long and start getting numb. All right, so I'm going to, um, use my cards here, my angel angel cards uh angel guide cards and we're going to clarify some of this stuff with the see what the angel guides has to say okay angel guys what do you have to say to the uh queen of cups which is the scorpio single woman right now what do you ha what other information do you have to give them what information do you have to give them One more good shuffle, they're saying, and then I can start reading for you, okay? For my Pisces, single ladies in the house, okay? Your angel guides are saying, look, yep, you're, there's marriage. It's possible you're going to get married here to this person, this new one that's coming in here. It's going to be a, a, a more deeper commitment. Can you see that card? It says marriage. Okay, congratulations, Pisces. And then you're going to be happy. Play some music. Get into some music, you know, really get some love music going on because, hey, somebody wants to serenade you. You can see this is a man here and there's a, somebody playing music. So play music together. You two might have that in common where you like music or somebody going to serenade somebody, okay? And pray by God. Go ahead and pray. This is, you know, your dreams coming true. Pray about it. Okay, you pray about it. You're going to be triumphant. You're going to win. You're going to get what you want through prayer, music, meditation. Marriage is coming around here. Practice makes perfect. Okay, so those are your angel guide uh, additional what they have for you Pisces, you single ladies, okay? Uh, congratulations to a lot of you. Things are looking good for a lot of you want to... Um, you know, took on the energy and say, you know, it's time to move forward. Um, I think we was having problems here with a lot of you, sing, you Pisces women that were in a relationship here maybe a month or a couple months ago. And it seemed like it was this same person, this air sign that would just kept bugging you and bugging you and bugging you. And I guess you decided, a lot of you, not saying all of you, but some of you decided to just walk away from that and no longer serve you. I'm glad you listened to the messages of your angel guides and uh, and really got that. that. That was just a mess for some of you. And you know what I'm talking about, okay? Guides are saying you know exactly what we're talking about. So good luck to a lot of you if... um. This resonated with you and you'd like to know, uh, or if some of you, you know, it didn't resonate with and you feel like, you know, um, you need more messages or more, um, look more deeper into your future and see what's, uh, going to, what's going on with you. Um, just look below my information will be down below and, you know, contact me. 
Um, it's going to be in the description below. The, I'm tired, y'all. I really am. I'm so tired. I'm just like saying stuff probably over and over again. I might, like I said, fall asleep and it'll be on tape and I'll be snoring. Just wait for me to wake up. Okay. But anyhow, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to keep moving here until I get this all done tonight. And then I'm just going to pack. I'm going to be like this with the tape rolling more than likely. Okay. But anyway, um, I'll catch you guys in November. I'm moving on. TTFN, ta-ta for now. Talk to you in November. Take care. Like I said, if you need a personal private reading, look below. Contact me, and we'll see what the angel guys had to say for you. Uh, as an individual, this is just a general reading, just applying to some, not all. Take care, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. This is your girl, Sandra, a.k.a. Simply Love. Welcome to my bedroom, okay? Yeah, I moved everything in here to my bedroom. Uh, that's what I was told by my angel guys to do. Why? I do not know. But we are here, and I feel comfortable. The lighting seems to be really, really good in here. Um, and I feel comfortable, too, as well, rather than being in the back room where the lighting is not all that great because that's my little relaxation room so welcome um what i'm doing here is a reading for the single men out there which are the single pisces okay what i've done is taken out all the um uh the kings and queens out of the deck and i want to use you guys as you're up on your throne and i am going to be delivering the messages to you okay of uh, what your angel guys want you to know for the single pisces men pisces men okay so just give me a moment to shuffle the cards uh, I want to take this time out to say thank you to each and every one of you. As you notice, I'm going to be trying to interact with you guys and get more closer to you. I've got all this energy. Don't know where it's coming from. I'm thinking it's from after. I feel like I come full circle in my life. It's so much energy. There's so much that I want to do. It's like I came out of this cocoon that's what i feel and i want you guys to feel the same thing that's why i'm giving this energy i got i want to give it all to you it's transformation time it's time to wake up there's so many portals that's open and this is a good time no matter what's going on in the news no matter what's going on out in the world it's time to focus on self and get self together because um, sooner or later, the government's not, not going to be there for you, anybody to rely on. Everybody's going to have to fend for their self. And that means in all aspects. So it's time to wake up and face reality. Come to reality about everything in your life, including love relationships. It's time to snap out of the uh, Wizard of Oz land and face the facts, face everything for what they are. And that means coming full circle, like how I feel I've came. I feel like I've conquered and i want to share that with you guys because i want you guys to feel what i'm feeling it feels wonderful it really does and i'm so thankful and so humbled that i'm here with you guys and you came on this journey with me matter of fact you guys helped me on this journey by helping you so thank you thank you so I want to get closer, more closer to everybody. Like I said, I may not get to everybody's question. I'm just one person here. I got readings I got to do as personal readings I have to do as well. So please be patient with me. If I don't get to you, understand you're not the only ones asking a question. I got 12 signs here and there's, you know, I got thousands and thousands of subscribers and you know, thousands, thousands of people that just look in and then they want to ask questions as well. So please understand that I'm trying my best to really come close to you guys because I love each and every one of you. But it's damn near impossible. But I'm going to do my best to do what I can. Okay? I'm going to let the guides, when I, you know, look in, when I have time to look in and see the question, I'm going to let the guides lead me to who they feel like they want me to pick. It's not me doing it. It's the guides doing it. Okay? Okay, so let's move forward. Now, like I said, I took out all the uh, kings and queens out of the deck, and I put my king, Pisces, up on the throne. Okay, you're up on the throne in my bedroom, and I have my she seashells over top of you. I've got my, my little um, crystal, okay, with you by your side, my purple crystal. 
for the energies so they are at each end of the card okay so I already shuffled okay let me just give it one more good shuffle and then I'm gonna proceed with the reading for you single Pisces men okay you single Pisces men what are the messages for you guys as I said it's not gonna pertain for to everybody but we're gonna see Wow you water signs are all just about um, getting the same cards almost all right All right, let's just get into it. Pisces, guys, listen up. Some of you, not all of you, okay? Whoever pertains to this pertains to. Let's get it. First card you got is the Ace of Wands. So some of you Pisces men may uh, have been dealing or dealt with um, some type of uh, fire sign, which is um, a, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, the Ace of Wands is talking about, you know, some type of uh, passion, some type of drive that you ha have. Wands are about movement. They're about action. So there's some action that needs to be taking place here for some of you. Maybe some of you are waiting on some action. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you might be waiting on for some action because this is a very passionate card. And it is being offered to you because it's coming out from the skies, the heavens above. So they're giving you some some drive, some action, some action. They're offering you some action, okay? And uh, actually just handing it to you. If you look out in afar, there's something that maybe some of you want to accomplish when it comes to uh, a passionate relationship or something. And it may be coming from a fire sign, like I said. And it's um, if you look out to the future, there's a house out there, okay? So something's coming your way, okay? Something is coming your way to set you on fire, honey, hunte, for some of you men out there who are single. And you got the Two of Cups, but see, and the Two of Cups is about making a decision about something or maybe some type of relationship offer. But it was it's upside down. This may be from a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a Gemini, okay, when it comes to the Two of Cups. That's what that represents. No, the Lovers, I think, represents Gemini. So the Two of Cups is here. It's one of them. It's upside down, so um, maybe... Maybe you're not feeling too great about a relationship right now, or maybe you're not wanting to make a choice about a relationship that's being offered to you, okay? That's full of passion, full, full of fire, full of uh, get up and go. You might be a little leery about You might not be wanting to go down that road. Some of you Pisces men may not want to go down this road right yet. You may not want to make a decision about somebody that, bringing coming to you from the heavens you know they're trying to spark up your life here for some reason but with the four of swords you're like you're kind of like <clears throat> you're hiding out um pisces men what are you hiding out for it's like you're closing yourself off from everybody you're protecting yourself uh you're resting your little heart because if you look in the window up here you know, it's a, it's the shape of a heart. So maybe there was some heartbreak when it came to love here in the past. Maybe there was a lot of passion and fire. Maybe it was like for some of you, I'm giving different scenarios. Maybe it was a lot of love and passion given here. And then all of a sudden something went wrong where it's upside down now and you're sheltering yourself or you're giving yourself a break or giving yourself a rest from love now. You're maybe some of y'all may be healing your heart. Some of you may be in some type of meditation mode. Some of you just completely shut down. And a lot of Pisces, that's something of their nature because they're so emotional. You know, they're so emotional with this Two of Cups here regarding this relationship or ex relationship here, something that was in the past because this is something that occurred in the past, you know, the current past as well.
for a lot of you Pisces men. Um, and it was very emotional for you. It, it does show it being upside down. So something didn't go too well in a relationship and then you shut yourself down a lot of pisces do that they 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 good for doing this they're notorious for shutting down and not letting nobody know what's going on they just can just hide up on on you in a minute you don't know where the heck they at or what they're doing or what's on their mind they're good and notorious for doing this especially if they're hurt or if they got something on their mind, instead of communicating, they'll just shut right down on you. So we have a judgment. Judgment saying, get the hell up, um, you Pisces men out there, or, you know, you single Pisces. Get up. It's time to wake up out of this slumber, okay? Or wake up out of this, you know, healing period, you know, or shutting everybody off and shutting everything down. This is a total shutdown right here. This person actually almost is like they dead almost. You know what I mean? That's how shut down some of you Pisces men are at this time over a hurt or some kind of painful situation in a relationship. Your angel guys are saying with judgment, it's, they're, they're calling on you to wake up. The horns are blowing. Whistles are blowing everywhere. They're saying, look, get up. It's time to come up out of this. Somebody got to wake you up here. And the spirit gods are trying to do this. So next we have the empress. Okay, the empress is someone who comes across like a motherly figure. Some some of you Pisces out there may have somebody that may be a child or this person uh, that may you may have been in a relationship with that turned upside down. You may have children by her. She's a mother figure. Um, she helps people a lot. She takes care of home. She is well to do, as you can see, very independent, but always helping other people. She's a good advisor. She could be a teacher too. She can come across as a teacher, as, as, as like she can teach people things because she knows things and she knows how to deliver messages or information to people to where they can understand it she can get on anybody's level so this is what you're what they're calling you to do you know get back up on your throne and do what you normally do wake up get out of the slumber get out of you know um isolation and wake up the, the angel guides are calling for you to wake up and get back and do what you do best being you being that mother figure people are calling on you people need you people need your advice Pe you know you're good you're good to go here get back up where you belong okay Pisces um men and then you got the star card okay which is good. That means that like you're 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 putting this thing together. You know, you're kind of like working on something. A lot of you Pisces men are working on something. And it may be with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person. You may be working on this relationship. Some of y'all, it might not be all the way over. It just may be a separation, a temporary separation. You may be even living together, but you're just stuck in two different rooms. Or you could be um, you know, uh, dating and, or dating somebody or interested in someone and you're just maybe apart from one another right now while you're thinking things over regarding love, okay? And you're kind of pondering on how can I fix this? This is somebody trying to fix something, okay? And like I said, it could be with a uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person because that's who the star card represents, Aquarius, basically, uh, air sign it, it's definitely an Aquarius you know for some of you for some of you it is a, a Aquarius Gemini or Libra energy here that you're focused on again because again you got the uh, six of swords right next to it so it is an air sign that you're focused on this is what you're trying to repair for some of you are trying to repair this. So you're figuring it out, putting things together. Uh, you're using the uh, knowledge of the imprints. You know, for some of you, is somebody around you. It could be a mother figure. There's, it could be your mother who you go to for advice regarding this uh, uh, situation of love. A particular person that you're interested in. 
So it's showing here you're going to move from choppy waters onto smoother, calmer waters here. So whatever whatever is going on around you with this air sign person, it looks like you know you know things may get better as you you know uh, try to work things out. You know, trying to be like a mad scientist and put this together and see if that works and put this together and see if this works. If that don't work, you're going to try something else. I see somebody trying here. Okay? I see you trying to work on a relationship. It's right up under the um, the two of cups that's upside down. I see you, somebody, I see you trying to work on that. All right? with temperance there and actually talking to somebody this even some of y'all could be talking to a counselor or somebody to help out with this relationship because somebody wants it so some of you are going to just move on maybe from this relationship and some of you know from a relationship that you've been working on or you know want to work on or somebody that you really want for some of you you know you just may make up your mind and move away from it or this other person like I said you may be involved with an air sign and they may be moving forward they may make a decision to move forward while you're trying to work on it okay but if you're move for some of you who are moving you know moving forward you, you know maybe it's because you're moving out of the turbulent maybe you know whatever it is that you know maybe fighting or maybe some disagreements that came in you know um and maybe you're trying to smooth things out maybe things will smooth out you know what i'm saying in the relationship for some of you, you might just exit and leave or somebody may exit and leave you behind or for some of you and some of you may be just um smoothing things out and moving on to a better committed relationship here some of you are going to get married i see marriage here with the ace of cups some of you is going to have a success at working on this relationship okay some of you pisces men you're going to be okay in the relationship because you're going to be working on it okay some of you are is going to be successful because you got the ace of cups some of y'all going to get married like i said a commitment here something to celebrate something that's going to bring joy a overflow of emotions here you know so that's great to have the ace of cups at the end of this reading because I feel like a lot of you are going to work this situation out with this person, okay? For you, you know, that for you ones that were single, something's coming back in your life or, and you're trying to make it work out for yourself and it, it's going to be successful. For some of y'all, this person that you're in a relationship with and tried to move on, I mean, and tried to make it work, they may just move on to something different. For some of y'all, um, you're going to... Uh, this person's gonna you're gonna try to work together with each other and it's gonna be successful and it's gonna even uh be a, a stronger bond to each other. It's gonna be like a committed relationship or a marriage, okay, for some of you. Very, very good, uh Capricorn men. Now let me get some confirmation from your angel guides and see what they say. Just a moment while I shuffle. And you're over here, like I said, you're in your seat of authority. You're sitting there. You're waiting on what your angel guides have to say to you regarding this relationship or possible relationship. Some of you, this is just a new start for somebody new. You're getting over somebody old for somebody brand new for some of you Pisces men out there, okay? Okay, let's see what they have to say to your angel gods are saying pray 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 all right and they're also saying heaven is watching over you so no need to worry heaven is watching over you I hope you guys can see that um, 
and they're also say they're saying be brave now be brave don't stay stuck you guys don't stay stuck in that um remember that meditative mode or that sheltering mode that you got in don't stay stuck there go out in in, in nature and be with the animals you know listen to you, you know you may hear some messages through being out in nature okay and being with the birds listen to the water the trees and the animals are very important too um this is all a learning experience for you okay you went through this for a reason and that is to learn from it okay whatever the situation depending on what male pisces we're talking about here okay but some of you are definitely having problems in a relationship and you're definitely trying to hold on and make it work for some of you but some of you it may not work out in your favor you know what i'm saying it may this person may move on and i'm have, i'm getting strong feelings of it being some kind of air sign okay aquarius gemini or libra some of you it is going to work out you know what i mean some of you are going to uh, take the necessary steps and work on this thing uh, it looks like you've been working on it for a while and it just may work out and turn into a committed relationship some of y'all, I'm feeling like you may have got somebody, you know, pregnant. They may be a child or this person that you're with may have children, okay? And um, uh, for some of you, it is going to work out in the end. You may end up getting married to this person with the, uh, you know, Ace of Cups being there at the end for some of you. That's a, just different scenarios for different Pisces men. So, congratulations to some of y'all that this may work out for. Some of you is not going to, and it's time to just, it's just a learning experience. It's time for you to move forward. And I also pick it up, some of, for some of you, this is somebody you've been dealing with in the past over and over again. Um, some, ki some type of deception for some of you because you got the black um, um, shit seashell on here, and it's at the bottom of your feet. So this is telling, I'm hearing like somebody from the past that you've been dealing with constantly over and over again, doing the same old crap over and over again. Some of you Pisces men, and you, it, you seem like you just can't let go of this person, but it's going to come to a point where you're going to, some of you, not all of you, it's, it's going to come to a point of no return. You're going to have to let go and you're going to have to move on, Okay. So there you go, Pisces, you single Pisces men's out there. You know, some of y'all is going to be okay. If you feel like, you know, you need to have some more information, just contact me at the information, uh, in the uh, description field below. It has, just click the, uh, see more and it'll, um, you can come to contact me and, um, we can get a little deeper on a uh, personal level and I'll talk to your guides and, and they'll tell me what they, what they, what you need to hear if you want more details. Okay. For you cut. Pisces guys, take care. I love you. And um, I'll talk to you in November. Okay. Take care now. Bye bye. Hi, YouTube. This is your girl Sandra, aka Simply Love. And I'm here to do a reading for you for mid October 2016. And this is going to be for the sign of um, Pisces. And it's going to be for the couples only. Okay. The couples only. So give me a time while I shuffle some cards. And what I've done is I pulled out all the kings and queens of the deck uh, in from this deck here and put them to the side. And I'm going to use them in the um, as you being a front king. I look at each of you as being kings and queens. So I put you at the head of the table and then I'm going to serve you up your plate, okay, and show you what's going on Uh for some of you it's, it's not going to resonate with all of you but it will resonate to some of you um so i have you down here right now as the king and queen of cups okay and you're sitting here as a uh, and this is going to be for the uh coupled up men and the coupled up women okay all in one this one reading here okay for both men and male and females um just give me a few minutes to go ahead and shuffle the cards. I want to take the time to thank each and every one of you for viewing my channel. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for your lovely, lovely comments. Have you noticed that I'm really trying to get on the ball of things? I got this burst of energy. I don't know where it come from, but I thank God for it because... um. 
there's a lot of things that they want me to do, okay, for you guys. Um, they want you to get there too. They want you to be this portal that's opening up is to help everybody. Everybody uh, has to come full circle now. And it's time to wake up. So some of this stuff may be tough love for some of you signs out there. Don't take it the wrong way. Don't take it like it's negativity. You got to stop acting like big babies here and grow up and feel like, you know, stop taking everything as being so negative. The world, we ain't living in no freaking world of uh, lollipops and um, and gummy bears, okay? You have some things in life that you have to face, and it's, it's all with inside of you. Instead of looking outside of yourself, you need to take a look at yourself and what you're doing and what you're contributing to some of these relationships that are not going so well, okay? Some of you are doing okay, and some of you are going to make out okay. It depends on what stage you are in your life. But I'm here at Simply Love, reading for the Most High God through His angel guides, and I'm just delivering the messages to you, okay? No more, no less, okay? One more shuffle here, okay? So, for the water sign, the couples, the Pisces couples, And as you can see here, like I said, I got you guys here at the at right here, and you're covered with the you know the uh with my um crystals and things of that nature, my shells, my seashell here. So to take on the energies and see what we're gonna have here, okay. And then this deck, being it's almost like the Rider Waite de uh, deck, I'm gonna read reversals as well. I usually don't do that, but, you know, I have to, I'm just going by what it, the angel guides tell me to do. That's how I operate. This is a brand new deck to me, okay? Uh, and I don't read the books on them. I refuse to read the books on them. I know what the general meaning is of the cards, but I have to use most of it, my intuition, because we're dealing with a lot, lots and lots and thousands and thousands of people out here, okay? So we have to read intuitively to get the most messages out there for you. Only God knows who's coming to visit my channel. Only God knows the messages that he wants to uh, give and share to you guys, okay? That's out of my control. I'm just here to deliver the messages for him and the angel guys. They're the ones that surround you. They the ones that see you each and every day they know what you're going through okay so here we go Pisces couples whether you're married or whether you've been in a relationship for a long time this is for you male and females okay here we go let me pull the cards Oh, okay, I'm doing something wrong. I had the cards. I had the deck upside down here. Let me put it right side up. So these cards are right side up. Oh, that's weird. Okay, there we go. This is some weird stuff I'm looking at here. Okay. Let's get with it. Male, female, coupled up, married. See what's going on. I'm seeing here, first of all, the Page of Cups, okay? The Page of Cups always delivers messages, messages. And being their cup cards, that means messages of love. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that's delivering this message of love to you. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or their uh, moon or sun, moon, or rising sign. But it is a message of love, okay? And you know it's a message of love because the Two of Cups comes right after. It's a message of a relationship. Two people that are probably in a relationship together long-term. Um, this was in the recent past or, you know, married to one another, a committed relationship or a long-term relationship. You two have gotten together here. Okay, but, and then the sun is out too. So that means all well in the neighborhood with you two. You two made a great connection here. You know, you couples that are married and you couples that are, are coupled up with someone long-term, everything looks pretty good here for you guys, for a lot of you. Everything's going pretty good. And, but the moon card is showing up for, uh, here in the, coming up here in the 
in the now is showing that somebody is a little bit um somebody's a little bit skeptical about something somebody's getting a feeling that something's not quite right that's what the moon symbolizes okay in this love relationship or this marriage somebody's something seems like it's hidden and something you're getting a feeling like there's something being hidden from you and you can't see it for a lot of you Pisces male female couples okay there's something being hidden or you feel like there's something being hidden from you and you haven't quite seen it yet. Uh, the, 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 the moon is illuminated. So, you know, and, you know, as you can see, the dogs or whatever, they're howling. It's like they're, you know, they're like trying to talk to you or try to tell you something. Look, it is illuminated. All you got to do is look at it. Follow the path. You know, there's a path there for you. It's going to be emotional because of the water here, but, you know, it's calling you to tell you that you can look at it if you, you know, it's just, just follow the path, follow your feelings, follow your gut feelings about what you are feeling and then see what it is with the, with the moon card. You got the seven of wands here, which is upside down as well. With it right side up, this is like somebody who has been through, some, whoa. Sucker wanted to leave the freaking reading. Can you believe that? It just flew right out of the reading. <laughs> it just took off. And that's what wands do. It's about action and movement, okay? And that sucker took off out of my hand, too, and flew right out or out of the reading. Like, okay, here I go. Where did this come from? That don't belong here. Okay. So, like I said, with Seven of Wands, right side up is like... Um, somebody has some battles here. They were facing a lot of battles. This could be the wounded soldier. This could be somebody like of a, a fire sign. Uh, um, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius is of a fire sign. Maybe some of you are hooked up with a fire sign. Okay. And they had, there's some battles here. They, you guys are going through some type of battle, some type of conflict, or somebody feels as though they have to um, defend themselves. They may, somebody may be blaming somebody, or you know, angry at somebody about something. Okay, because but it's upside down, so maybe somebody's releasing the way they feel. Maybe there was some skepticalness here for some reason, or and maybe you followed the trail to the moon to see if anything was hidden, and maybe you didn't, maybe some of y'all didn't find nothing. So you put your uh, wands down, you decided not to fight, not to get into a conflict, because maybe somebody was just being paranoid. Sometimes the moon means paranoia. Somebody's being paranoid. Uh, now, with the four wands here, which was upside down in your reading, okay, right side up means a happy home, you know, uh, good partnerships, uh, solid foundation here. But with the upside down, it means the total opposite. Something's not quite right here. Somebody, you know, don't want to fight. You know what I mean? They don't want to fight, but there's still something not quite right here because the happy home is upside down. And also, you know, with a feeling of a future together is upside down, too. This is looking out into your future. You know, you planted seeds, planted solid ground, and you can see your ship coming in. With the upside down, you're not so sure if that's going to take place. For some of you who are coupled or married, there's, some, there's something just not right here for some of you. Everything started out really, really well, but then all of a sudden there's some maybe some secrets or some type of deceit that somebody's trying to find out or somebody's just outright paranoid and they can't see a future here for some reason. Somebody's had a change of mind or a change of heart, either you um, or your partner, which may be a fire sign because these want, they're heavy here with the fire, with the fire energy. Or it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. But I'm getting most of y'all is probably a fire sign. And some of y'all is a water sign. Now you have the high priestess, okay? The high priestess is sitting right under this moon card, which means, you know, like I said, secrets. 
the high priestess knows secrets. She can keep secrets. She can see through things, you know. you If you're carrying this energy of the high priestess, it's time for you to figure out what's hidden. What's being secretive here? Who's, why, it, what, what's, what's this sneaky stuff going on? There's something going on with a lot of you, um, Pisces couples here that you're not, there's something being hidden and somebody don't feel comfortable and they're going to try to find out, but they want, they want to do it without the fighting. They don't want to fight about it because that the, the Seven of Wands usually is about conflict and fighting. Being this upside down, somebody wants to dump all the fighting. But they got the happy home card, but it's upside down, so they're skeptical about even this happy home. That's upside down. They don't even know if they want a future with you whoever this person is, because the Three of Wands is upside down. That's somebody, you know, looking out into the future, having a clean slate, stuff like that, being this upside down. They're not so sure about this, this relationship. And with the High Priestess here, definitely, uh, it's go somebody's going to find out something. And there definitely may be something going on, because the Moon card of, is of suspicion, of possible deceit, things that haven't been brought about yet that's been covered up. And with the high priestess, she's one to upper, un uncover things. She uncovers things. She's psychic. She knows what the heck's going on. Whatever, she, If there's something not right, she's going to uncover it. So if there's something going on with some of you guys out there, you Pisces, men and female that are together in a relationship or something, you're going to find out whatever it is. Okay. Now let me see what the God and Angels has to say. Here we go. Let me see the angel guides are saying to some of you. Pisces couples is, uh, uh, you're going to find out about a learning. It's going to be a learning experience for some of you guys and girls. And for some of you, uh, you're going to need stress management. Some of y'all stressing out. But like I said, with the moon card there, a lot of suspicion or it could be just outright paranoia. So you're going to need to seek some kind of stress management program. Some of y'all is very emotional. With the moon card, it had water down there. So that is walking towards emotions. So it's got something to do with your stress management is part of your emotions. Something's going to be very emotional that you're going to discover. Um, but it's going to come out very peacefully for some of you. It's going to be very peaceful. All right. And for some of you, you need higher education. That means you need to look into it more. It kind of reminds me of the, um, w with the high priestess at the end of the reading. So you're going to have to learn more about this situation. You're going to have to dig a little deeper to find out what is going on. What is this big suspicion all about? What is being hidden? What secrecies going on here? Now, uh, you guys, um, feel that that resonated with you and you need more answers, you're going to have to call me up and have a personal private reading so I can tune into your angel guides and they can tell me what's really going on here if you want to know, okay? So all the information is listed below um, in the description field and you can uh, get in touch with me there, okay? So I'm going to let you guys go because I got to keep it moving, okay? I'll talk to you guys in November. Thank you so much and I love you. Bye-bye.